Hey, Mr. Quack. Oh, yes. Hey, King. What can I do for you today? I think there's some kind of mistake on my check, actually. Um, I've been here every single day, but I'm missing two hours. You think you could fix that real quick for me? Oh, this is correct. Sure. That's because last Tuesday, you came in to work five hours late. I don't know about that. And then before you clocked out, you left a note on my table saying you weren't going to come in the next day because your house was going to catch on fire. There must be some kind of mistake. All right, King. Let's go to my office. I got something to show you. Mr. Quack, your office is kind of small. I thought you were an important person. Okay, take a seat. This is a footage of you last Thursday. That's not me. See, if that, was, if that was me clocking it, I'll put my jacket away. This is it. This is the reason why. I don't play my jacket like that either. Only cool people can do that. I don't own a pair of Crocs either. You steal. You steal other people's food. <laughs> you make me laugh, King. Yeah, I don't drink Pepsi. Pepsi makes my teeth feel kind of like, you know, weird. I drink Coke. Hey, look. You've just clocked in, and now you're clocking now. Not me. And you're like, oh, hold up, hold up. One more thing, one more thing. Come to the camera. That's you. That's you, 100%. Don't even say it's not you. Don't even say it. You know, it's not me. You know, okay, I'm not really sure what's going on with you, but you be searching up some weird things, man. You can get in trouble for that kind of stuff. Why would you search up if a chicken is a bird? Ain't it obvious? I know my wife was DMing some other person. It ain't you, right? You know, Mr. Quack, I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me right now. I feel like you're insulting my intelligence. But at the same time, you don't even know who's sleeping with your wife. <laughs> if it's you, man, I'm about to lose my job. Those food I stole, that was for you. All of it. Everything I stole, I put it in your office. No, my wife got me those. Your office. It can't be true. Man, I know Sriracha is your favorite condiment. That's why I got you a bottle of Sriracha. But you're being so ungrateful right now, I don't even know how to feel. Do you think I should still give you those two hours that you missed? Be honest. No, I hear you. You know, Mr. Clark, I just want to apologize. You're not going to get them hours. I'm sorry. We're quitting today because you didn't give me my hours. Get out! Yeah. Get out! Yeah, I yeah, never want to see you back here. Yeah, I know you'd want me back, man. I know. I know. You know, it ain't too late to give you my hours. You know, I ain't out the door yet, but when I'm out, I ain't coming back. You ain't even worth it. Hey, right, Mr. Clark. A f***ing wife.